All right, everyone, it is December 7th, 2012, breaking story coming out of Japan. A massive 7.3 and a 6.2 magnitude earthquake strikes off the east coast of Japan. A strong quake centered off northeastern Japan shook buildings as far away as Tokyo on Friday and triggered a one-meter tsunami in an area devastated by last year's Fukushima disaster. Let me uh, play a video for you here, then we're going to go to the, um, take a look at this. Breaking story. <laughs> CNN London, welcome to our viewers around the world and the United States. We have some breaking news coming into us. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, a magnitude 7.3 earthquake has struck off the eastern coast of Japan. A tsunami warning and advisory have been issued. We have Alex Zolbert, who is live for us now in Tokyo. I know it was felt very strongly there, Alex. What can you tell us? some of the details. We were uh, sitting in the office here in our bureau in Tokyo. We're up on the ninth floor of this building. And uh, you know, it, it's, it's hard to describe. You don't really, you can't really describe the feeling until you're in it. The one thing that really grips me, Antigua, I'm relatively new to, to living here in Japan. I know you've spent a lot of time here. Is the noise more than anything. Everything just basically shaking violently in our filing cabinets, uh, shaking. And here's, here's what I can tell you. You mentioned the 7.3 earthquake. Um, a few other e details that are just coming in. There are some advisories. Pardon me, I'm looking off my notes. There are some advisories for Japan, but the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center has not issued a, a further alert beyond that. Right now, they're just keeping just in Japan. We are hearing reports of possibly as much of a two-meter high tsunami warning in Miyagi Prefecture. This is essentially right along the same fault lines. It's right where this happened in March of last year, the March 11th earthquake and tsunami that we all know very well. We actually, Atika, were up there last weekend doing several stories. We just got off the phone with someone up there, and he said that it felt very similar to the March 11th earthquake in terms of the, in terms of the strength of this shaking. Obviously, a 7.3, not as strong as the one on March 11th, which was more than not, uh, magnitude 9, but we are watching right now for a tsunami warning in Miyagi Prefecture. Uh, again, this happening about 300 kilometers off the coast and uh, about off the coast of Sendai, Sendai being about 250 kilometers north of Tokyo. But Atika, again, what we felt here was quite a strong quake, and it went on for about 90 seconds. And the thing that stands out in my mind is, is the noise and the violent shaking. But in terms of the scene here in Tokyo, I hear cars moving behind me. It's now just after 6 o'clock on Friday evening here in Tokyo. People seem to be getting back to their lives, but obviously a, a good good wake-up call here on a, on a Friday evening, and, and we'll obviously be watching very closely to see what... All right, and uh, once again, this comes from the Extinction Protocol 2012. We'll go to another news clip here, BBC. So the latest information we have now is that a one-meter tsunami has come ashore on the coast of Miyagi Prefecture, which is exactly the same area that was hit very badly back in March 2011. Uh, the uh, tsunami ha hit close to a place called Ishinomaki, which was almost totally destroyed in the 2011 earthquake. Uh, there are no reports at the moment of any damage. Uh, of course, a one-meter tsunami is much, much smaller than the one that hit back in 2011, which was between 10 and 11 meters. Uh, but it's still you know, big enough uh, to cause flooding and potentially cause damage. And Rupert, a concern, of course, for many Japanese citizens will be nuclear safety because the meltdown at that plant uh, last year is very raw in everyone's memory. It is, and it's interesting that the company that runs the Fukushima nuclear plant, uh, Tokyo Electric, has been very, very quick this evening to put out a statement saying that the plant is unaffected by the tsunami or the earthquake and that work there to stabilize the reactors after they melted down uh, is going on as, as normal and that that hasn't been stopped by this event. And so at this point, Rupert, we know earthquake nearly an hour, just about an hour ago, uh, now the tsunami. Uh, what reports of any damage or casualties? 
So at the moment, there are no reports of either, uh, but there are large parts of the northeast coast of Japan, which, because immediately after the earthquake struck this evening, uh, they began evacuating from. I mean, it was really interesting to hear the broadcasts on Japanese radio and television immediately after the earthquake struck, telling people uh, in very, very strong terms, leave your homes, get to high ground, remember what happened 18 months ago. So this is a big, I think a big change since 2011. That event is still very, very strongly burned into people's memories here. It was a deeply traumatic event, not just for the people of Northeast Japan, but for the whole country. And uh, people are a little bit on edge now, even 18 months later, for any event like this. Rupert, thanks very much. All right, you have a 7.3. 6.2 magnitude earthquake uh, striking off the east coast of Japan. What damage now uh, to the Fukushima nuclear reactor? Let's take a look at this earthquake real quick here. Now let me pull it around. And there you see it right here. You can see the 6. Point, uh, let me pull this down if I can. new technology for me here and there you can see 7.3 6.2 magnitude earthquake I will keep you all updated and informed we are truly living in the very end times and there will be earthquakes in diverse places how much more can Japan take the time is 7 19 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. God bless everyone. Leave me comments.